All right. Round one. Okay, hello and good luck, RSC478. I won the die roll. I most definitely want to go first. Uh, yeah, this hand's kind of terrible. I don't have, what, 16 creatures, so let's do the math. I have a 50% chance of drawing a creature. 50% chance of drawing a creature. Um, and then, I mean, it just goes up, because I have what, the, the 16 creatures. Granted, one of them it could be me drawing the uh, other other thing. What is the other thing? Like a, a five or... I can't draw a six drop, because my only six drop is Rise of the Eagles. But this hand does nothing, unless I draw a creature. And then possibly by turn four I could be dead, so I think I mulligan this. And I mulliganed into a pretty sweet hand. So here we go. Now the question is, which of the two drops do I play first? Uh, Sightless Brawler can't attack. You won't even be able to attack until turn four. So I guess what I'll do is I don't have any white or blue. Uh, double blue or double white at turn three so I could lead with either of these. Uh, I'm not going to mull and just lead with white. Here we go. Might end up just taking Omen Speaker here. Uh, let's see what my opponent plays. White. There's a bunch of white two drops. I can scry here, or I can try and get beats on. What's more valuable is the question. Uh, the scrying the two, so that I can kind of plan out the next couple turns, or getting in two. I do have another land drop. Yeah, let's go for two. Let's see. Kind of rewarded if my opponent doesn't have a two drop here rewarded in the sense where I got two damage in, but at this point in the game, yeah, getting two damage. I was going to say, at this point in the game, getting in that two damage, and hopefully with the game plan that I want to have, it'll end up being worth it. Now, I can play the Sightless Brawler. If my opponent doesn't have a three drop, this play is pretty sweet. Um, well, actually... This is going to untap. It's going to make something a minus three, and then I will be able to attack in. So I think I do that here. And then hopefully the creature doesn't have... I'm trying to think of what three drops would have more than three power. Well, let's get in for five. Um... There's nothing scary I'm worried about. There's no flash in these two colors. And then next turn I can even strive for these two these two things. Um, loyal Pegasus. I can still strive for the three. I don't want the land... The question is, do I want a loyal Pegasus, though? By the time next turn, I can do this, get my get minus three. I hit in for another five, potentially six. I have the strive ability, so I'll just say five. It gets my opponent to eight, but then my opponent starts to stabilize. And then I have a flyer. There's such, so much high higher impact cards than this, and if I don't want to be able to get in, I'll take the Pegasus, though. I will take the Pegasus. Uh, next turn, I cannot strive for both, or strive for two, if I am... Um... Well, I smell... I smell Divine Verdict. If my opponent wants to use Divine Verdict here on my three drop, I can. Johnny's Presence to save it and get another point in. So Divine Verdict happens here, my opponent takes goes to 10. Hmm. If the follow-up with the Nessian Asp is next, then I'm just, I am just so disappointed. Oh, let's Loyal Pegasus. Play a land, pass the turn. Oh, actually, I could attack with Omen Speaker. I 
don't want the deep water hypnotist actually don't mind if the deep water hypnotist dies uh, no hmm I do want it to untap and whatever creature my opponent plays gets killed yeah sure use your divine verdict that's fine this way I do end up getting a point in or and my opponent uses the divine verdict my opponent's still gonna have to play a creature next turn too deciding if it's worth it or not nope all right and I still could a Johnny's presence if I wanted to All right, so my opponent's going to have to play a thing. I'm going to hit for two in the air. That's fine. All right, so some big five drop. Mm-hmm. Well, that's no big deal. Alright, let's see it. Ooh. No? Didn't think think I might have potentially have a uh, Johnny's presence. So not a Johnny's presence. Mortal obstinacy. Sure. I'll easily block with an omen speaker here. Deciding not to attack. Alright. Well, bounce spell would be pretty sweet. Right on time. Of course. And obviously I drew it or else I would have played it in response. Uh, there's no, like, Ranger's Guile. Right? Oh, I won the game, yay! Let's see what card I would have scryed. Ooh, scrying into the scryfish. That's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's how the game ends up playing out. Uh, something to note that even though I got to this point in this game, getting to 7 Devotion is probably not going to happen. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I didn't really get that far. I mean, I knew that was going to be pretty hard to get to 7 Devotion, but it's a far out. Come on, i got to play it. Hmm. Now the question is, is there something that I want here? So slow green-white, or probably just got off to a slow start. Um, I don't think any of my cards are bad. I still don't think... I'm probably not going to be able to trigger a far that much, but... I'm going to be playing a lot of creatures, and card drawing is off each of those creatures is going to be sweet. Um, hmm. Do I want another Retraction Helix? Do I want another... I don't think I need Crypsis. I think... I feel like I'm going to ship it back the way that it is here. Guardians of Miletus isn't particularly exciting, especially from what I saw. Uh, green white there's a bunch of ways to get rid of it I don't have that many enchantments so all right let's ship it back in game two of round one uh yeah no definitely not a keep what I like to mulligan I don't want a mulligan but I'm on the draw and I have four two drops so well, that's not one of them, but it gets me to supply line cranes eventually. Two drop. Ooh, crone sky guard. Okay. So I have two choices. I can enchant enchanted creatures double strike as long as it's an enchantment, otherwise prevent all damage. Gladly take one here. Follow up. Traveling philosopher. 
sure. Yep, neuter that 1-1 one, one before it gets out of hand. I guess Voyage's End could have done the same thing. But there's a potential for this to just get too big. Gladly take two. Ooh, my opponent's stuck on lands too. Well, I do have a supply line cranes, and screw it, let's just play a Phara. Hopefully I can draw out of this. Jeez. It's not going to work the way that you think it does. I mean, you can destroy the armament, sure, but... You're not going to be able to destroy a Phara. Yep. Go for it. Or blow up your own... The way this happens on... Oh, okay, I was going to say, the way it happens on Magic Online. Like, there's times where you could accidentally target your own Mortal Obstinacy. Which kind of blows. Well. Supply line cranes it is. Yep. 3-5 in the air, plus I get to draw a card on my opponent's upkeep. That's sweet. Ooh, into Rise of the Eagles? I like this here. Alright. I mean definitely helps. I didn't draw anything, um, but it definitely helps that my opponent's been mana screwed. <sighs> so, what can punish me here? Uh, there's nothing that gives it death touch. It can get a counter on it. Mortal obstinacy. Or there's the untap, but this has five toughness, so... There's no death touch, there's no anything like that. Interesting. Is there a way to do direct damage? Play a card and then fight? Because if that's, if that's your game plan, if you play a land and then the fight spell, that's fine with me. I don't, I don't know what's happening. So then it gets a counter. It still doesn't even kill it. No? Just decided to throw away your creature? Okay. Well, let's hit in for three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rise of the Eagles. Uh, I definitely don't want that land. I get to draw a card. Alright, well, far is doing some work. Like I said, right now, thus far, Afara was the turn I played at nothing. And I was able to, to get away with some, some business. But right now, it's been better than Divination. Or, well, it's been almost as good as Divination. And my opponent is just stuck on lands. I feel kind of bad. And when I say I feel kind of bad, I don't actually... This is going to be a pretty sweet turn. This into bestowing this. So the question is, what do I want to do here? I can Voyages End this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have seven lands. I could Voyages End plus Bestow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit for nine. Or I can Voyages End play this thing. Yeah. Go for just the highest potential blowouts later. I guess Voyage is ending next turn after I've played this it would have been slightly better. Satessan Tactics. Sure. Sure, it's still going to bounce the thing, but you get to fight. You get to fight a birdie of mine. That's fine. Great Heart. Definitely not interested. It's going for the beats. One, two, three, four, five. 
Oh man, I am lagging so bad now too. And I get to am I even better than divination divination? Far is drawn me. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Far is gonna be active next turn. Two, three, four, five. Let's cast with bestow here. Yep. All right. Yeah. Th I, there's no way my opponent's making it through that turn because even when my opponent chump locks this, so that'd be doing eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Down to one. Yeah. Not all that great. Well, I am sorry. Uh, opponent that you were stuck on two lands for the longest time, but I guess I didn't really draw much business otherwise. Alright, well, one of those cards where Afara was potentially win more in this situation, but not really, I don't know. If I would have, wouldn't have had Afara, I still would have been ahead by this much. Afara did draw me three cards, drew me three lands, I would have drawn those three lands otherwise. So, and it became active, I guess. Otherwise, if I didn't have a far, I wouldn't have drawn those three cards. I wouldn't have had the Sky Spear. I would have had the Sky Spear two, two turns after I had it. I would have had this and this, been attacking in. My opponent's the Tessin Tactics. This is... The game would have gone a little bit longer, and there was a poten there's the potential for me to eventually get to it, especially the way my opponent's game ended up being. But All right, so here we go. Far, it's uh, not too, too bad. Well, <laughs> not too, too bad. Drew me some cards, so hopefully we do as well or better in match two.